fix the lazy storage. So this is a, um, the first one where I really try to be hard on the five minute with a lightning talk. So if it doesn't succeed, please bear with me, but I tried hard to do. So I will go through what is actually the problem I'm discussed. I will then show a surprise I detected with, that came with 23, and then why no solution can be a good solution. So first, my usual disclaimer, this code I show is slideware. Well, it's not that bad. I have personal opinions. They can be shared or not. It's OK. And universal solutions, they don't exist. And I have added something new, like you see here, a geek factor. And the reason for this is last time someone came after the presentation and complained, oh, hi, right, you're a bad speaker. I can't follow you, uh, you, uh, your presentation. Yeah? You're a bad speaker. I was like, yes, sorry. I know you are not writing this code. It was not made for you. So I've made this to so, uh, where you know what you need, because in a lightning talk, I cannot put everyone on the same knowledge level and then present the content. I need to go straight to the topic, right? And when this is tablet, then it is like this. I hope this helps. If not, let me know. Very often, people that are here will see themselves there, yeah, but yeah, at least it is sometimes. So I expect you to understand templates a little bit and maybe be able to write one if you need one. OK, the motivation was from, from our last meetup where I talked about the lazy storage. The details don't matter for this part now. If you're interested, you can look at it. Uh, the code will be shown uh, in a huge size in a, in a moment. And this was basically the moment in the presentation where I said, hey, I used this as the launder, but I have actually no idea why. And so my question was, the launder, do I need it? Don't I need it? Or maybe? And my argumentation was, I place it there because maybe it's needed. And if I would need it and it's not there, then I have a problem because the compiler would make optimizations that lead to strange things. But this maybe is nothing I like to live with. I like a binary answer, yes or no. So I went out and looked for an answer to this. And here I present my findings to the question. So recap, this is the storage. There is a lot of boilerplate for the atomic initialization. I do this away. And then we have here a, a blob storage with the undived byte area. And here we use placement new to put whatever we get uh, into, this, into this storage. OK, so far so good. C++23, oh my god, aligned storage is deprecated. Oops. So one of the reasons is that a lot of people have forgotten this type, or if you don't use this, you need here column, column type. And then there is this paper, 1413, which also will explain you in detail why this is a problem with certain type tabs. And so the solution was it cannot be made 100% uh, secure or behave as expected, so it needs to be removed. OK, let's remove it. And I'm, this means I need to replace the line storage type with the implementation of the line storage type, which is basically a blob storage. So, and we have a reason to use that byte, which is cool. There are not that many reasons to use as that byte. <laughs> so we have the alignments and we have the size, so we are good. And then what I found also was, wow, there is a construct add function, and there is a destroy add function which means you don't need the placement new anymore. And you don't need to have this wired where you call the pointer and then the destructor function. So this is, this is pretty handsome. And this came already with C20. So you can also look into C20 to find nice stuff. OK, so, but so far I haven't changed anything, right? What is now with the launder? Because here I clearly access something where I have taken the type away. So do I need to learn it or not? Hmm? Before we come to the answer, oh yeah, here is the answer, the, the, ex, the, the uh, access functions, of course. These are there more also. Do I need to learn it or not? So before we come to the answer of this, we do one more final change in this code. Because someone said to me, hey, Howard, you can use a union for the type. Went, what, what? Oh, so we create the union with just one member, which is the separate argument we get. It's not initialized. Then we need the constructor and destructor for the, for the union, which this is the this, uh, union we get with C11, by the way. When we initialize it, 
data will have nothing but the memories here for us, and we can construct stuff in the data, which is nice because now we can also destroy the data and access the data, and the type is preserved because we never take it away. It's here. So, no longer anymore. Nice mission accomplished. So the summary. C++ is evolving, and it's challenging to follow, right? Hey, hey, there is something deprecated. Doesn't happen so often that things are deprecated, but more surprising is this construct at destroy at. So really useful helper function that makes code, especially for a new, new reader, very much more accessible. Um, share your code. If I wouldn't have gone out in the world and shout, please help me with this launder stuff, I wouldn't have learned anything about this, right? So you need to exit the bubble sometimes from your computer or also in the company from your team. Because if you work too long together in the same team, you will also be on, 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 on uni stuff. Try to present something here, for example. And if you do this, perfection is not necessary, right? You can both deliver a bug fix like I do it here. And learning is awesome. So if I can do it, everyone can do it. And that's the lightning talk. Now we can go directly to the break. Thanks for listening.